Coming to the next one, refractive error found here. So, what is this actually here? You can see the conical protrusion of the cornea. Conical protrusion of the cornea means it is a case of keratoconus. So, what is the refractive error that you get in keratoconus? Now, see, there are two things here. Number one, you are going to get the uneven surface because we are having this uh, conical protrusion from this, we are getting this. So, uneven surface and also you are having the increased axial length. We are also having the increased axial length of the eyeball. Due to this, you are going to have two things. Due to the increased axial length, we will have myopia and due to the uneven surface, we are going to have astigmatism. That is why the answer to this question is myopia and astigmatism. So, very, very clear cut. Normally, the cornea should be like this, but it is like this. So, you are getting this uneven surface and you are getting this increased axial length. Another important thing, what are the kind of stria you are going to get? You are going to get the walk stria. You are going to get the walk stria. Walk means vertical like H for hub and H for horizontal. Similarly, we have V for walk and V for vertical. Then another important thing that you get here is the flesher's ring. Another important thing is the Flesher's ring. While KF ring is found in the Wilson's disease, Flesher's ring is found in the keratoconus. And uh, then another important thing is the oil droplet reflex. We also get the oil droplet reflex. While oil droplet cataract is found in the galactosemia, oil droplet reflex is found in cases of keratoconus, right?